Hello, buddy. It's Ethan Monkey Festival. I'm here, and today we, well, judging by the title, you already know what we're probably gonna do, but we are going, I'm going to teach you how to use a classic controller that attaches to your Wii Remote to play GameCube games on Dolphin 5.0. No, no, no. Don't like X out, like, dude, I already have, like, a uh, original GameCube controller that already attaches to my computer. Now, don't leave the video right now, because this could also work for emulators that do aren't compatible with remotes. So, like, let's say, like, my Game Boy Advance emulator right here that has Superstar Saga. Don't worry, I already bought it, not doing anything illegal. Um, I could use this controller to play with it. And I'll also, I'm going to also be showing you how to do it with Dolphin GameCube games, so Mario Party 6 right here. It should work, and I'll show you the controls. So let's get started. Um, so go to the first link in the description, this link right here, and it'll bring you to the web this website. Basically, we're, I'm gonna teach you how to use something called Wii and U Pro Soft. Wii and U Soft, and basically what it does, it 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 is it uses your Wii um remote classic controller um Pro controller. And it disguises it as a Xbox controller, so you could use this on your Windows. Now, I'm not sure if this works for Mac. I'm not sure. It, like, I guess it doesn't since it says on your PC. So if you're a Mac user, I'm sorry. Currently, only for Windows, I'm sorry. And like, it says it right here. I didn't even see this. And it also works with Wii U stuff. Um, it goes up to four controllers, so don't worry. So um, what you want to do is you want to go to downloads right here and then you want to download not Wii U Pro 0.9 you want to download Wii U Soft 3.2.zip so you want to download this one I mean you can download the other one but I, I should know you can't sorry don't listen to me you want to download a Wii U Wii and U Soft 3.2 Basically, when you download that, we don't need this anymore, so let's, we can, I'll just minimize it for now. And then let me go to my downloads. And when I go to my downloads, I already had one, so I'm just going to delete this for now. Uh, we want to go into it. Um, and you need something to extract it, so if you have like 7-zip or Bandicam, you could use it. So first, we want you want to you extract it. Now, I personally like to extract it to my desktop, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to extract it to my desktop, and I'm going to wait for it to extract. Huh. Okay, I'm not going to... It's... Wait. I'm not going to extract it to my desktop, actually, because I already have it there. So when you extract it, this will pop up right here. So you want to go into it. And you see Win and you saw off right here. You don't want to go into it yet. Not yet. You want to go into SCP driver. And you want to run SCP driver. Right here. Yes. And then it will bring you to right here. You don't need Bluetooth driver, so you can uncheck that. And then you click install. I already have it installed, so I don't need that. So I'm going to X out of here. And then after you do that, you want to go into Wii and you soft. And it is open. This is what it should look like right now. If it doesn't look like this, you screwed up and I don't know. So let me bring out my Wii Remote and you guys, even though I can't show you my Wii Remote and Classic Controller, you will know it works because when it comes on here, it will show you that something is connected. So what you want to do is you want to click this and you want to press sync or one and two at the same time on your Wii Remote. Just wait for it to sync. Now, if it doesn't work and says failed to pair, you want to press cancel. And what I do, this happens to me for I don't know why, I bring up Dolphin and I pair it with Dolphin. Just wait for it to pair. And yeah, you hear, now it's paired. So basically, after that happens, you just click refresh, and here it is. There it is right there. So it doesn't look like my... Controls attached to it, but what you want to do if you don't know which control is connected just press ID and it 
should rumble and you want what what you want to do is you want to press attach as x input device and i want it as controller one and here it is this is showing you that i'm not faking it it shows you that i have my classic controller connected and basically what you want to do is oh you want to configure and you want to match all the buttons that you want the oops no you want all the buttons that you want it to be as you can see all my buttons are how i want it to be x to x a to a b to b and click apply now you can minimize it don't exit out because if you exit out it won't work but another thing there is something that comes with windows 10 and windows 1.8 and oh yeah you're also going to need bluetooth and let me actually show you right here there's going to be something you need read me you're going to need something called the microsoft x xbox 300 360 controller drive this needs to be installed if it's not installed it's not going to work no matter what and you also need bluetooth on and if bluetooth's not on itself it's not going to work so we have our controls configured we have all this set up so now we want to go into controls and as you can see standard controller this means like emulated controller it's not gamecube adapter for the wii u no that's how you also know i'm not faking it so let me press configure and as you can see all my buttons are already connected um as the gamepad see not the keyboard mouse but the gamepad another way to show you i'm not faking it and just to show you that it'll work i'm going to load up mario party 6 wait for it and i'm gonna press a and as you know no, none of Oops. Oh yeah, sometimes it might not be calibrated, so what you want to do is you want to unplug it. You want to unplug the classic controller and put it back in. Should work now. Huh. It does not work. What the heck? Yeah, like, if it doesn't work, it just might not be calibrated correctly. You just want to keep doing that until it works. If it does not work, like it's ha happening for me right now because it hates me. I want to go back into configures. Everything's working. Yes, everything's where it should be. Press up. Make sure you press apply so it actually does work. And now it should work. If it doesn't work now, unplug it and replug it. There we go. Now it's connected. It should be. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Save my button. <laughs> Check if my controllers are connected. Standard controller, configure. Yes, everything's where it should be. Okay. So as you can see, it's fully working. Yeah, 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 that type of stuff. Okay, so now that I proved that it works, or it should be working, yeah, yeah, those two get into our argument. Hold on, guys, I'll be right back. Let me I get this controller working. Jeez. Hold on, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I fixed the problem. It actually wasn't when you saw it was Dolphin. I did not realize it, but it crashed. So let me show you. I press this, press A, and bam! See? I'm also, you can hear the controls. I'm hitting the controller. You can hear it. Let me put it close to my mic, and it's actually working. Like, look at this. Look at that. It's working. Boom. Yep. Yes. Okay. Let me prove, prove to you that it works. Standard controller, not the GameCube adapter. Standard controller. Let me run the, not the game. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna prove to you guys that it works. If it doesn't, then technology hates me because this works all the time. I'm pressing in my controller. Uh, I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. Oh my god. Maybe it's when I record it doesn't work. Maybe it's just that. <laughs> I think it's just that. That it just hates me. This was just working! You guys saw it, right? You guys saw it! I, I'm not going crazy, right guys? 
You guys just saw how it- Okay, okay, it's working. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's working. Yes! 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 Okay. Okay. I'm not a total failure on YouTube. It works. Okay, let me prove to you. It works. Finally. Skip the cutscene. Press start. Yes! Go through all of this. You can see it's working. Yes, all of this. You can hear me pressing the controller and you know it's on standard controller. It's just proof that it works. Proof. Okay, now. Let me show you that it doesn't just work for Dolphin emulator. Let me show you that it also works for other emulators that are not compatible with controllers. So let me show you. Someone's calling me. Are you kidding me? Nintendo. Can I have like one chance to prove that? Oh, come on. I'm not gonna pick up the phone. I'm not gonna pick up the phone. Okay, let me show you that it works. I'm proving to you right now that it works. I pressed it. Oh, right, let me show you the controls. So let me go to Joypad, configure one. And as you can see, all of it is like. But I'm warning you right now, if you X out and go to like something else, or like you could also play Terraria with this stuff, or like other stuff like that, always take out the classic controller and plug it back in to make sure it's working. Yes. Okay, now it should work. Yes, that is the main problem. That is like the probably the only problem that I found in it. When you X out of something, you always need to plug it back out and plug it back in. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. How to play GameCube games on Dolphin 5.0 with the classic controller. I'm actually using the classic GameCube controller. So it doesn't have the Z button, but it has everything else. It has LR. Yeah, like the normal classic controller. It's just different layout. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, probably, I'll hopefully be coming out with more tutorials where, you know, I don't become a total failure. I hope you all enjoyed this video. T-Fame with the 579 out. And peace, whoever watches Wait, 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 one more thing, one more thing. Um, there's also this, greedy mode. Like, just don't screw around with any of these. Don't mess up anything. Keep it as it is. Make sure this is on or else it won't work. Or else you'll get a error symbol right here. Just make sure everything's working. Remember, ID to check out which one's which. Calib configure to match the buttons and X out to them um, if you don't want it. So guys, now I hope you enjoyed this video. Team Fame, 13579 out, and peace, people who watch my YouTube channel. Bye, guys.